one. Hello, this is Dave, and welcome uh, to Equity Story. I'm with uh, um, the one and only uh, Wolf, and uh, this is just a general show advice and not personal advice, as per the disclaimer you can read here, all here, right? Um, let's get going, Wolf. Um, Wolf, I'm just having a look, right? Um, we didn't really, we looked through announcements. There wasn't too much that excited us, but we'll go through, uh, let's have a look at Prometicus, one of the few stocks in green today, another good contract win. Um, they keep marching on, don't they? Thank God. Uh, you know, that's the only story that's still holding up reasonably, even though I called her, I think, to take some profits on this. Uh, on my weekly wrap, and I'm still probably sticking to that. And with without that contract win, we probably would have keep coming down to that 73. Let's see how it all holds up. And look, it's still a market darling, but when the market's falling all around you, you're still trading over 100 times PE. Something's got to give. All right, now uh, BUX, uh, Wolf, some more results. Um, yeah, just holding up. How were those those results? Do you like them? Well, they were very preliminary, so they're just looking at some uh, uh, what do you call surveys and you know some spots that possibly the conductors that they possibly need to go and drill. So not, nothing to me like there was. Ah, oh, wow, this is great! I'm getting in. Yeah, there were some obviously promising um, results, but nothing of nature that I'd be this. You know, this is where I think this is where I should be putting my money in. So still, you know, I'm still rating this as an explorer, but we not, we're waiting for the essays to come through. All right. Um, interesting. Hello world came out and, um, they're slightly down on that sort of trading update for the quarter. Um, Wolf, can I bring it across so we can just have a look at it? Because we've got a few people obviously looking at this, uh, Total revenue, this is obviously unaudited, was up 53.6 million, up 67%. Um, and I think they said the... The margins is the one that's probably uh, Mark is looking client, at. The client revenue margin comes as a result of the combining of Hello World's revenue margin for the bid with lower Express Travel Group revenue margins for the period, right? Is that, mm -hmm. a, is, that, is that a a temporary issue? I One would hope so, but... At the end of the day, day, I think they were. Remember, they were on a um, upgrade cycle. Mm -hmm. So when you get a company come up with an update and there is no upgrades, Marcus is disappointed. Marcus is disappointed. So now it's a sort of hello world. It's a goodbye world by the looks of things. <laughs> it does. It's looking like that on the charts. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's have a look. Um, and um, uh, but not yet. Oh, well, no. hold on a second. But, but the, th the thing is, it's it's. It doesn't matter how well you're performing. I mean, company-wise, you just right now it's just a difficult period to stay above water. Yeah, and I, I think you've got to have obviously a stop loss on everything, Wolf. And yeah, you know, if you really do like the country, you can uh, the the company you can use that monthly at two fifty one, which is a week away, a week away, right? Um, if you're going to use the weekly, it's really unfortunately, it's, you know, if it really looks like this by the end of the week, unfortunately, it's it's a sell. Um, LRS. Mm. Ooh, that's holding on for its dear life. A little raise at what twenty five cents? Yeah, twenty five cents. But um, it's difficult again. You know, you, you we know the sentiment in lithium is negative. Um, we saw that Abemali moved off, well, moved away from Lion Town. Um, so I'd say just. Generally speaking, I'll be getting out of anything lithium related right now, you know, barring the good chart, quick trade here and there. Saying that, though, there is a positive one in there that's AZS, where they've gone in the trading hold today. And this is where remarkably be holding up, right? And maybe there's a reason for that. And that, that's the trading hold today and saying that there's maybe a change of control discussions. So is it Abamali that moved from Lion Town and looking at AZS instead? We don't know, but I'll tell you what, this this probably is almost like a get out of jail free card. Um yeah. If it's definitely. if it's true. All right. Okay. Um so Wolf, I'm just having a look. Uh there's not really uh too much to, to talk about, but there are obviously even uh with this and again the markets are looking bad. I think um Israel is picking up its attacks on Hamas mm. and uh 
possibly warfare, look at a full-scale invasion going to Gaza now. Uh, I, I should think there's a lot of countries in the Middle East are not going to like that. So mm. the market could just be a little bit nervous. Uh, the silver line is that maybe we get some good uh, tech results. I think you say Microsoft are reporting this week. I'm, I'm very nervous, very nervous with reporting in the U.S. I mean, gold is probably the the maybe the place. Oil is still probably the place. Uh, and then we're looking at the shorts, Dave. I think that's probably the best way to look at the market right now. So you've got a few, you've got a few ETF shorts. So let's have a look at them where where they are. Yeah, definitely. So um, we found a few. So mm -hmm. we thought we'd go go around and have a look at these. Uh, that short we put on as a hot stock actually was doing really really well. That um um short real estate, real estate. yeah in the US so it's yeah. looking good, all right. Yeah, it's not looking bad. So again, uh, uh, excellent. You've got shorting the Aussie market, the yep. BBOZ. Yep. Not looking too bad at all. Good. Yep. Um, now we'll come, we'll come up with some US shorts, Wolf. And and the first one uh, is the SNAS. Now that's shorting the NASDAQ the, 100. Yeah. In And you can do that from Australia, right? Yep. Yep. Then you've got the SQQQ, which is uh, again shorting. Um, the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ. Yeah, it, you know, it looks the opposite to the chart. The, it doesn't look... Those I'm NASDAQ, those in, NASDAQ in, shorts... In, show, show Wolf, I'm talking. Those NASDAQ shorts don't look quite ready yet, do they? No, I mean, that's why it needs defense because the NASDAQ is still holding up reasonably well, right? That's yeah. that's the reason why. But in, all you need is one bad qu qu Microsoft quarterly, <laughs> then down she goes, right? The NASDAQ could be collab collapsing very quickly. Um, And you've got here, you've... You've got uh, quid, which is again as, as the Nasdaq short. Uh, but there again, you've got the Russell. So look, the Russell, which is the small caps in America, the Russell 2000. Well, you can see um, that's broken up above trend and starting to look a little bit better. And the yep. code for that is RWM. Mm -hmm. Another way to short the Nasdaq is this TWM, which I actually sort of prefer in a way, the chart. I think it looks interesting. And you've got SDS, which is shorting the S&P 500, which um, it sort of goes like that, doesn't it? You've got the small caps, the Russell goes first, then maybe the S&P 500, Wolf, then maybe the Dow, then then maybe the uh, the Nasdaq. Yep. Yeah, look, um, I, I think right now that it's fertile ground to do, to do the shorts for this, but yeah, and I think if, if you know, when you think about it, if fairly should be a fairly good time to do it because you've got that Middle East conflict, which right now we're at the beginning, we could definitely spread. So you've got that, you know, possibility of getting even worse. So you definitely looking at these shorts and probably thinking there is some time to, to short this. Um, so I think overall, yeah, this, looking at these shorts right now could be a nice little trade here and there. Yeah. And that's not a bad one on that SDS, is it? Uh, yeah, what you buy at 38, 41, you got a stop loss at maybe 37, 75 around here. And yeah, definitely if the world's sort of gonna have a problem, uh it could do you could uh it could do reasonably well. Uh Wolf, just have me a quick look at obviously what we put on Einstein's this weekend. And like you said, it's all mostly gold and energy stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, a few other and you can see uh uh we were obviously the hot stock was EBN, uh really a no-brainer. We just went for the uh Possibly the best gold play in Australia. Dave, if the um, world is collapsing, World War Three, you go to your, um, you know, stock that's probably going to do okay, and that's EVN. That's like a default stock. Yeah, definitely, and that's that's exactly where I went to. Um, <laughs> and actually, well, funny enough, look, if you actually look on the uh, the bullish stories, uh, mate, we are, we are killing the market, right? We are doing very well. We got White Havens up, Northern Stars mm -hmm. up, BGLs up. A lot of these gold stocks are a lot mm -hmm. of time to move BBO Z. Uh, we are seriously outperforming the market this morning. So yep. Einstein's Einstein's at least doing its doing its uh, business wolf. Yeah, it certainly is. Um on that note, mm -hmm. um anything else to say, Wolf, apart from um <laughs> I tell you what, uh, it's got it, it can it's gonna be a long week, I think. This is yeah. crazy. Things happen. We've got, we do have, I, I've just been looking at uh, the market index just to see what's economic calendar coming up. 
Uh, so we do have on Wednesday inflation numbers in Australia. Right. Uh, that could be interesting. We've got PMI flash numbers tomorrow. Uh, so it's, it's, then we've got the Fed chair pal speech. God, it's it's going to be a uh, pretty pretty long, I'd say. Oh. Uh, uh, well, you know what? Hopefully, hopefully, most members are have listened to us, and as we've been preaching, been largely. Um, well, putting more into cash, right? This side, absolutely. Uh, and so, hopefully, you know. And, and again, this is the opportunity. I mean, th this is these wonderful times in the market where um, some great stocks go down to great prices and happy days, right? If you can buy them. And uh, uh, Wolfie, we're going to put. Uh, together a whole list of stocks uh, maybe for tomorrow for you and look at ALU coming back down to trend. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah. I mean, yummy, yummy, yummy. Yeah, and look at that. It looks like an exhaustion pattern too, which is nice. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. And um, uh, could, be, could be your eyes. Could be a little nibble. Well, let's have a look and even look a little mad coming down. Here, right? Mm. Come back to trend. Yep. You know what? This is, a, this is a hard thing, Wolf. You're seeing some really good stories coming down to like, hmm, that looks good. Hey, um, it does. It does. The question is, it's just can they hold a, on? To a, a, a normal world, you think, oh, what, what a great opportunity, but yeah. it's just the Middle East, isn't it? Yeah. So I, even though I'm going, I should be picking this up. I'm thinking right now, maybe not. You know, with this Middle East thing. So I think you got to be patient. So um, and mm -hmm. um, but Wolf. So if the Middle East thing does blow up, you know, the markets. I mean, I, I was listening to some idiot the other day saying markets go up. They they always get a correction, but it, it does prove that correction is often the really good time to to buy stocks. Yeah, of course. Because I think four or five months later, the average after any war, these stocks tend to be a lot higher. Yeah. Um. So yeah. what you're saying is that if it does get a little bit worse, we can have that other leg down, and and really, there's the opportunity not. Yeah. All right. All right. On that note. I'd like to thank the wolf. He's all, always brilliant. And um, go on, wolf. Go and take some medication. The oh, no, don't make it. I need to throw some fresh air. Uh, what about <laughs> some Valium? Valium? Already this morning? Great. Now I'm going to have to have some breakfast. That's what I'm, I think, missing. I need some Valium. Breakfast. Valium. Lots of Valium. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> all, all right. right. See you, mate. Bye. Bye. Bye.